Breaking news here on ABC News Live. Two sources have confirmed to ABC News that Secret Service Director Cheadle, Secret Service Director Kim Cheadle, has resigned in the wake of that assassination attempt on former President Trump just about a week ago. And the Secret Service's handling of security around that venue in Butler, Pennsylvania. It was an open air venue, remember, the gunman able to get on a rooftop with an AR 15 rifle and get off rounds before he was killed by a Secret Service sniper. Here on Capitol Hill, there has been a repeated calls for Cheadle to resign, particularly from House Republicans and at least one congressional Democrat. They have said there was a failure. They have said that the Secret Service was responsible. There was one lawmaker when Cheadle testified here on Capitol Hill that said that she looked negligent because former President Trump survived. But if he had been killed, that bullet again, just less than an inch away from his head, she would be, quote, culpable. I just spoke with House Speaker Mike Johnson moments ago. He gave us live reaction to this. He said, in a sense, that it was about time, that he wanted the Secret Service director to resign. He said that he met with her privately yesterday before she gave testimony to the House Oversight Committee. And he said that he told her that she should take responsibility for the failures, he says, of her department, that the buck essentially stopped 